The bad guys have no frontiers. They have no frontiers. Now, By establishing um, the Interpol Global Conference. Restaurant in a neighborhood in Seattle. Um, the hack was done by some guys that were located on the East Coast. They sold to, to figure out why. I mean, th this was a criminal organization that was based in Russia. Experience uh, in the Secret Service and uh, developed quite a, a degree of experience over those years. Came off and saying, hey, try this website if you guys want to buy drugs anonymously. About eight months later, contact me at rossalbrick at gmail.com as well. Change, change, change the goal. So still, in the case, be that guy. Industry, or in terms of root stock, the pharmaceutical industry can come and have an office. Extremely valuable, and so it's a space and effort in this community. Couples really does. We need to start telling our case stories not only on a global uh, game, but Microsoft Office project and other things. They so openly, so openly operating. They put their locations I mean, acts of rip and torture, and leaving bodies in the streets. Zoom in and see that the, this whole wheel of IPs is just you know. I'll, I'll, I'll start actually in this mode where again we're seeing the total. Uh, the total. They're all the same people, but they're on completely different networks. Um, and when you have a problem like that, you've got to say, okay, open this door. Open this door. You know, the, the collaboration between private sector and government is essential if we're going to meet the threat of cybercrime. Technology has evolved so rapidly that in order to meet the threat that has also evolved, we have to have an all-tools approach. No one can afford for government to be in silos, but we also can't afford for government to be separated from the private sector. So we're working very hard to work with companies like Microsoft and others who are at this summit so that we can have a global approach to this growing threat.